In order for visitors to subscribe to your list inside of InstaSuite, you need to have a form for them to fill out in the first place. So during this video, we are going to be talking about step number four, create form. So once we have that selected, you will be able to see all the different forms that you have created. You will see the name of the form, the list that that form is associated with, when it was created, we can view the form, edit the form, or delete the form. Well, let's go ahead and create a new one from scratch. So I'm gonna click on the add new button at the top. The first thing we need to do is give this a name. So I'm gonna say my first form. Next, we need to choose which list you want this form associated with. So I'm gonna add this to my test list. For the thank you page, we can choose the default thank you page, or we can choose any one of the other pages in our funnels, or we can use a custom URL. So I'm gonna use the default thank you page for now. The already subscribed page, same as before. We can use the default one, a custom URL, or any of the other pages in our funnels. I'm gonna use the default one for that as well and click on next step. Here we need to configure the confirmation email. First of all, would we like to enable or disable the confirmation email? So when we enable it, we can choose the default page, a custom URL, or any of the other pages we have created. And then for the confirmation email itself, we can select a template to use here or we can go ahead and type out our own email with the subject and the content here. We also have these custom codes that you can import into the email and they will be automatically replaced with that visitor's name, their email address, etc. And of course, once you type out your email, you can save it as a template for future use. So I'm gonna use the InstaSuite template here and when I do that, you can see it automatically populates. So I'm gonna click on next step. Here we have the design of the opt-in form. So what we can do is click inside of this opt-in form and it's gonna open up, for example, the description text. I can change the text here, click on okay. I can also click on the forms itself where it says input your name. I can click on that and change the text there. I'm gonna click on okay. And we can customize this to make it look and say any way that we want it to. So I'm gonna leave it just like it is for now for this example and click on next step. Here you can see the publish options. We need to save this before we can get the code. So I'm gonna click on save. And once I do that, we now have this code that we can insert into our sales page. So all we have to do is copy this and we can insert it anywhere we want it. And when someone opts into this form, they're going to be automatically subscribed to the list that we created.